Georgie just being everybody's photographer. He's so cute. <laughs> She's like, hey guys, uh, <laughs> I gotta shave my arms, but not my legs. I look like two different bodies. Babe, a little more of my crouch, please. before was a little glimpse of my weekend. Georgie and I spent some time together in Laguna Beach. A little two-nighter staycation. So beautiful. The weather was impeccable. I cannot believe how warm it was. Yeah, we did that and that was really, really nice. So I thought that we could spend the rest of this vlog crafting because I haven't done that in a second. And I've been crafting on my own time, but I just haven't been sharing it. And I thought it'd be fun to like make something. My mom came over a few weekends ago and we started this project. We started this painting. And then she had to leave, so I kind of I've been finishing it on my own. What we used to like make all these textures and stuff, which I'll show like a close up of it, is so much fun. It's so cool. You can make so many different textures. And I got really excited about this one texture that I made in the center. See how cool. That texture. So I got inspired by this one texture that I made here in the middle. I love the way that this looks and I think I can make something really cool. I'm pausing on that project. I thought I would start a new one over here. So I have my canvas here. What I'm going to be using to make these textures on this canvas is a patching compound that you can get from Home Depot. Wow. It's like the perfect periwinkle blue. Now I'm gonna blow dry some of the paint. We're gonna put down our patching compound. Down the center. You guessed it right, mate. It's like this, it's really thick paste. The thickness has to be just right so that we have enough to play with. I want the top to be, I think, a little bit thicker than I do the bottom because that's where I want it to look like a certain way. Now, I'm going to just play around with the texture in the center. I know what I want it to look like, but we'll see if that's what it turns like. What I'm trying to do pretty much is create the essence of a wave or like the essence of like water in the center. It's not going to specifically look like waves or like, you know, like the ocean, but Ah, that's kind of what I was going for. So that's why I picked this color for the bottom, almost like the sand. The color for the top, kind of like the sky. And then the center, we have this like textured, you know, imperfect like water wave type thing going on here. So I'm just gonna play around with it until I like the texture. But then like the colors on either side, it's just not, I don't know if it's going to be what I thought it'd be. I have finally gotten a texture that I'm kind of happy with. So I'm going to leave it for now. This is what it looks like. See, so I try to make it look kind of like more like wavy at the top there. We have our texture. I think we're just going to leave it. I'm not mad at the texture. It has to dry. I can't paint or do anything else to this until the middle is dry anyways. So I'm going to put it to the side and we're going to make some V-inch again. 
So I'm gonna make myself some vegetarian chicken. And actually, I wanted to put this out there. If anybody else is vegetarian like me, I do recommend getting this brand. It's called Corn with a Q. Not if you're vegan, because there are eggs in this, So, but only if you're vegetarian if you don't eat meat. Because I find that all the other meat replacements, I mean, they're packed with soy and they're packed with sodium. They're packed with like so many other things that it's not good for you. It's not healthy for you. They taste great. And I eat them like every day, like all the time. So many other like meat replacement products that I love, but they're not necessarily healthy, you know, healthy, healthy for you. This one is, my mom found it a long time ago. Check it out. I like to use um, coconut aminos. My chicken! Look at that. Oh, I'm gonna snack on that. Let's get ready for bed. I'm going to wash my face and we're gonna do my skincare routine together. This is the face wash that I now use and I use all the time and I love it. It's the Dr. Broner's, <laughs> I don't know his name. It's the 18, 18 into one. Hemp, peppermint, uh, pure Castile soap. So, yeah, this soap is just like 100% organic, clean. There's nothing in it. It's just pure Castile soap with peppermint. <laughs> Depending on how much makeup I have on, I'll wash my face two to three times. So the first time to remove like most of the makeup. Second time to remove like any makeup that's left. Third time to actually cleanse my skin. No makeup left. And then I just pat dry. My first step after the, my three face washings is um, The Ordinary. Maya said 10%. And zinc, 1%. And then the muscle. Then my next step is some good old vitamin C. I also use the ordinary one. Okay, so I, I just do a little bit. I use the, the CeraVe Daily Moisturizing Lotion. You know, my under eyes looking dark as ever. My mom made me this homemade green tea eye cream. And my last thing is for pimples, I use this spot cream that my dermatologist gave me. It's a clindamycin phosphate and benzoyl peroxide gel, 1.2% slash 5%. So I'll put it on spots, okay, so like this, I know I have a pimple coming underneath here. I'm gonna do a little la neige, lip balm, lip mask situation. I like to brush my eyebrows. Sometimes I'll brush my eyelashes too. My eyelashes, they get so knotted sometimes. They go in all crazy different directions. I was saying that this is really up close and personal. I don't even brush my teeth, I mean. It's about all I do. All right, okay, well, that's all about I got for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And thanks for always, uh, for tuning in, watching. And I always read everything that you guys comment and you guys are just, so sweet you guys literally say some of the sweetest things to me so i just wanted to tell you i really appreciate it and i love you guys and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed today's video i will see you guys next time don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment good night